hello welcome back to my channel uh, in this lesson we'll be looking at sign diagrams okay remember the topic we were discussing before was inequalities okay so uh, our next topic is to discuss uh, quadratic inequalities but we have to consider sign diagrams because sign diagrams is one of the ways of solving quadratic inequalities so at the end of this lesson you will be able to define sign diagrams and you'll be able to draw the sign diagrams of particular uh, expressions okay so if you are new to this channel please remember to click the subscription button below and uh, subscribe to the channel and god bless you as you do so and also click the like button so when we talk of sign diagrams okay sign diagram consists of a, a horizontal line which represents the x axis okay also it consists of a positive and negative signs indicating where the graph is above and below the x-axis respectively okay so it also has a critical values uh, which are the graphs x-intercept or where it, the graph is undefined okay so we are going to be looking at example these are the three properties of sign diagram consider the following examples of sign diagrams okay look at this following examples uh, for number one the function is y equals to x plus 2 into x minus 2 it is a factorized quadratic uh, expression okay and if you equal both to 0 you have x equals to minus 2 or x equals to 1 so and the graph is going to be u-shaped because the coefficient of x square is positive so it's going to uh, the x intercept are minus 2 and 1 and of course the y intercept is minus 2 okay so this region is minus 2 here so if the side diagram is given uh, in the third row as this one so the critical values are minus one, minus 2 and 1 okay so positive means the graph is positive when x uh, is less than minus 2 okay and it is also positive when x is greater than or uh, 1 when x is greater than 1 it is positive and when x is less than um, minus 2 it is positive okay so these are the region where the graph is defined and in this region it's going to be negative so this region is included in the graph uh, this region is also included so for the second one if you solve this problem or you expand you have the x intercept to be equal to 1 twice okay and the uh, coefficient of x square here is negative so the graph is going to be uh, a kind of cap shape and we have only one solution so the sine diagram is just at the point 1 okay so when x is less than 1 we have negative and if it is greater than 1 we have negative as well okay and the y intercept is also uh um yeah the y intercept is minus two as well okay. so for this one we can see the sign diagram this is the graph of y equals to four over x okay this is a kind of uh uh, exponential function negative exponential function and the graph is just the uh, the critical value is at a point zero okay so uh, when x is greater than zero the graph will be positive and when x is less than zero we have it to be negative so this is a uh, these are examples of sign diagrams guys and that is how to draw them okay so take note number one a sign change occurs about the critical value for single factors such as x plus 2 and x minus 1 indicating a cutting of the x axis okay so when you get to the critical values of the x intercept there is a change of sign indicating the cutting of the x axis just as we can see in the graphs we considered in the first page no no sign change occurs about the critical value for squ for squared 
factors such as x minus one square okay there's no sign change occurring uh, uh, at such a point we only have uh, 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 a point uh, so there is no sign okay indicating touching of the x axis so in this case the graph does not cut the x axis it only touches it okay and at such point you have a double solutions that is x equals to one twice in the case of this equation and that is how to find a sine diagram so we are going to consider examples now guys so these are examples draw a sine diagram for these graphs okay look at the graph so we are going to be drawing the sine diagram this way So this is for A, okay, this is for A, the point uh, is 3, okay, so here, uh, below 3, you can see that uh, the graph is, is above 3, when X is greater than 3, the graph is positive, and when X is less than 3, it is negative, okay, so this is the sign diagram for this expression guy so for b I think we have the same thing for b let's have a graph this way and um, this is what we have at point zero the graph is positive okay uh between zero and one it is negative so this is one and after one it is positive so this is the sign diagram for the expression so x is greater than one here and x is less than zero here so it's positive at, at a point okay so for the third one the sign diagram is given as this expression here okay uh minus two where the graph cuts the x axis and five so when x is at the point where x is less than minus 2 the graph is negative when between minus 2 and 5 the graph is positive and after minus after 5 the graph is also negative so we have x less than 5 here and uh, x uh, uh, less than minus 2 here okay yeah x less than minus 2 yep and uh, in, in those regions we have the answer so it is positive between here and here so the solution of this graph can be s greater than minus 2 and less than 5 okay so that is the region where the graph is defined so these are sign diagrams guys and this is how to draw them so examples Continue. Draw a sign diagram for this expression. So let's consider a. Let y equals to x plus three. Uh, x minus three. Okay. So solving, we have uh, x plus three. Into x minus three equals to zero to get the y intercept, and we have x equals to minus three or one and the y intercept is 3 times minus 1 which is minus 3 so plotting the graph of this one a sign diagram for it is we have it in this form uh, we have minus 3 and we have 1 okay so and the y intercept is minus 3 so we don't have business with that so the graph is going to be cup shape because the coefficient of x squared is positive so this is plus this is minus and this is plus and this gives the sign diagram for the expression curve and then we are done with it because the graph is going to look like this okay this is minus 3 this is minus 3 this is the y axis and this is the x axis and this is 1 so positive here positive here and all this region it is negative uh, x into x plus minus 4 so for b we have y equals to x into s minus 4 
for y intercept we have y uh, for y intercept we have y equals to zero for x intercept we have x into x minus 4 equals to zero and that will give us x equals to zero or x equals to 4 so the graph of this expression will look something like this guys this is 4 and this is uh, 0 and this is the x axis so positive here positive here and the sine diagram can be given in this form guys so this is zero and this is four these are the region where it is defined after four it is positive that's zero when x is less than zero it is positive and within this region it is negative and this is the x axis uh, example c uh, draw a sign diagram for x into x plus five okay uh, x into x plus five which is c x into x plus 5 so let y equal to x into x plus 5 okay so when x equals to 0 we have y equal to 0 when y equals to 0 we have x into x plus 5 equals to 0 so it gives x equal to or 0 or minus 5 okay and then the curve of this expression is going to give us minus 5 and a 0 and this is the x axis and the y intercept of course is a 0 so this is the y intercept here guys I'm not drawing to scale it's just a rough sketch so this is the y intercept so and the sign diagram is going to look like this okay so we have minus 5 here and we have 0 here so after 0 it is positive it is positive and within this region it is negative and those are the solution of the equation guys uh, x another example minus into x plus 2 x minus 3 minus into x plus 2 x minus 3 uh, example d y equals to minus into x plus 2 to x minus 3 okay so when x equals to 0 y equals to minus into 2 times minus 3 which would be uh, minus 6 which is plus 6 okay and when y equals to 0 we have x plus 2 into x minus 3 equals to 0 and that will give us x equals to minus 2 or 3 so this is what we have here because uh, here is negative so the graph is going to be a kind of uh, cup shape okay and the region of intersection is that okay so we have uh, the graph cutting the x axis at the region uh, y equal to plus 6 okay plus 6 so is something like this guy so this is plus 6 this is y axis this is x axis now so this region is minus 2 and this is plus 3 and it is positive it is negative here this negative here and positive here so the side diagram is going to look like this one and uh, this is what we have here minus 2 and 3 so it is negative here negative here and positive in this region and we have the x axis so this is how to plot a sign diagrams for this kind of expression so you are going to be taken as an exercise e and the earth so plot the sign diagram of e and earth uh, and uh, if you have any question you could uh, comment you drop your observation or a question in the comments below okay? so example three draw a sign diagram for this expression so let's take this y equals to for a y equals to x minus one square so 
y intercept is going to be minus 1 squared which is a 1 and x intercept is going to be x minus 1 squared equals to 0 so which will give us x equals to 1 twice okay so if we are plotting the graph of this one it's going to be a kind of a uh, cup shape and it's going to touch the x axis at the point plus 1 okay So let's say we have y axis and x axis. So the graph is going this way. Okay, and this is point one. Okay, so this is point one, this is y axis, and this is x axis. So and the sine diagram is going to look like this. Okay. Uh, this is how the sine diagram is going to be. So this is plus one, okay. And here it is positive and it is positive and the sign is just in that region so the same thing goes for b let's do b and c s plus 4 square so for b we have x plus 4 all square and that will give us uh, equals to 0 so that will give us x equals to minus 4 twice and the y intercept is going to be 4 square, which is 16. Okay, so plotting the graph of this one, uh, we have plus 16 here. Okay, this is the y axis, and this is the x axis. So the graph is going to look uh, something this way. It's coming, cutting the x axis at this, and then we have it to be okay. So this is minus 4, here the graph goes the x axis and the sine diagram will look like this. Um, at the point minus 4 of the graph goes in the x axis and uh, the area is all positive. And this is the x axis. So it touches the x axis but it doesn't cut the x axis. So these are sine diagrams and these are examples of how to solve them okay so uh, remember to like this channel and hit the subscription button below see you in the next video bye bye